Good morning. Here we go. It's all about coffee and eyes. So I had some girls over. Everybody really um, loved the eye look. So easy. They thought it was easy to create. Um, but sometimes it's just hard to remember what to put where. So let's go ahead and, and believe me, you can put anything anywhere you want. But let's do this together and just get a little bit of um, education on how to lift the eye a bit. All right, I'm starting with that palette. I am going to go in with my fluffy brush. Actually, I'm going to not go in with my fluffy brush yet. I am going to go in with this really light color and put it on the lid. All right, it's a light glittery color. And I can tell that it is definitely, uh, that's not going to show up enough. So I'm going to, okay, here's the deal, ladies. When in doubt, blend it out. So I'm going to put the same thing on the bottom. This is almost like a glitter you could put over top of any color. You're not getting much color from that. So I want to go into this nice nude color right here. And I'm going to take, if you don't have our brushes, there are like three brushes I highly recommend when you are doing eyes. And just let me find my third one. I thought it had a white handle. Doo, 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 doo. So anyway, you a nice fluffy brush for blending. Um, and this little guy right here is nice for your corner. And oh, here's it. Sorry, this is the crease brush. This is the fluffy brush for blending. But these two are my main go-tos, as you can see by the color of them. All right, so I'm going to go with this fluffy brush in that nude color. I'm gonna tap it off. My lighting is just stinky. I wonder, mm, that really didn't help. So anyway, what do I got on me? Mm, flakies of some kind. All right, tapping that off, doing that nice light hue on the lid, getting rid of all of those purple tones. Okay, those purple tones um, are caused by usually thinner skin. They can happen as you get older or they can just be gifted to you. Yay. And sometimes, I will say, depending on the person, um, those purple tones... If you have too many of them and you want to mute them out, don't use a lot of purple on your eye um, unless you know exactly what purples to go to to make it pop instead of enhancing. See how that's purple up there? I definitely don't want to purple up there. I'm going to go into, um, you know what I'm going to do today? When I had people over, everybody was into the browns, mostly into browns or purples. I do purples a lot, so let's do the browns. So I'm going to take this color next, and I'm going to go right above here. We're going to kind of make a coffee latte look. All right, so if you have a hooded eye, you are going to take this brush, tap it off first, and you're going to go, and you're going to look. Let me see if I can get this. You're going to look straight into your mirror. Okay, you're not going to close your eye, and you're going to just lightly, this is why you need a good brush, because some brushes will just plop that stuff right in one spot. So this nice clay-colored brown right up here, I'm going to do it right, okay, you can see the difference already. You can see that's taking the purple out of my eye. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, go right up here. Now the reason... We are doing this to begin with. If you have a hooded eye and you close your eye and you put it right there, you put it right here, right where we're supposed to put it, you open your eye and it's gone. So you want to put it right above. I can close my eye because I know right where to put it. So start with your eye open. Once you get that there, then you can go in, close your eye and do what you need to. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit more up here. You do not want to go all the way up to your brow. Okay, not all the way up. You need to leave that lighter to lift, 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 lift the eyebrow. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of just blend, when in doubt, blend it out. <laughs> I'm going to blend it really nice. I see, when I look in the camera, I can see a lighter color right here. Like I need to just dab in there a little bit. Okay. 
clean up anything you need to. Eyeshadow is easy to clean up until it, you know, sets on there. <clears throat> you can blend it with brushes. You can wipe it like I did with the tissue. <clears throat> All right, so now we have this here. You can see what we're starting to create. I do need or want um, something kind of different on my lid. I'm unsure what I want to do with that yet. So I'm going to do my corner next. This um, brush from Unique, I do have a knockoff. If anybody orders um, this palette, um, message me because I am videoing this. It's not live. If you see this and you want a free brush from me like this, it is not Unique's. It is the knockoff because I can't afford to give you all the Unique one. Um, I will send you one with the order of that palette. Okay. Okay. So let's go into our very darkest brown, which doesn't look super dark, does it? But let me tell, let me show you something. This is why, see this on the brush? Watch this on the hand. You can get too dark really, really fast. So you put it on your brush, you tap it out, maybe you swirl it off on a little um, piece of tissue or in your little sponge and then go in. You can always add more. So you're going to go in the corner and just kind of don't go in too far. Just go in the corner. <clears throat> okay, do you see how just that little bit lifted my eye? Now I kind of, I like to blend it all in. I don't like it to be too awful stark. I'm going to take just a little bit more, go right in that corner for the lift, and then I'm going to drag it down underneath. Okay, don't go underneath right away or you'll get way too much product. Way too much. All right, like I told you guys, I am an eyeliner girl. So I'm going to show you something I've been trying um, because eyeliner, oh God, I got it right in my eyeball. Eyeliner can sometimes make your eye look closed up, but yet yeah, it can also make your eye look elegant. Excuse me. I might have to wait one second. Okay, I paused. I'm back now. Um, I forgot what I was saying when I left. Oh, it can close the eye up. So, I've been playing around with some different tips and tricks. <clears throat> All right, now remember, don't put any more on there before you go underneath here. I already got a little bit I need to clean up. Keep that lift in the corner and right on that bone if you can. Especially if you have hooded eyes again. You need to go up a little farther. I know it's scary. Maybe on a day when it's <clears throat> snowing or raining or just a little bit bored, you can sit down and you can play. If you like to play with your makeup, um, like I do, then that that is very very fun to just kind of play and see how things look on your face because maybe you don't like the way that looks on your face okay so like i said eyes 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 i am a huge huge eye girl because it really lifts my face i'm going to go ahead with this liner eye tight line which means i put it on the inside of my lash line um to make my Lashes look thicker. I have a hard time with all of that redness um, in my skin from aging and the thin getting or the thin getting a little skinner. How about the skin getting a little thinner? Uh, okay, now. In a perfect world, I would have this sharpened and draw a little line, and it's not a perfect world, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on this little tiny angle brush, which you can use for liner, you can use for your brows. I do not add to my brows. I never have. I may have to try it and play someday just to show you guys. Okay, we're going to take that, and remember, that's not a wing. What I'm creating there is an extra lash. So I kind of see the lash line. Oh, look what I did. Maybe you can't see it. That's beautiful. Okay. And you, again, can blend that as much as you want. 
that darker is going to lift even more. All right. I'm going to pause the video for one minute. A lot of you do not curl your lashes, and I do. So be right back. I'm going to curl my lashes. The reason I'm going to curl my lashes, again, is not for curly-looking lashes. It is to lift and open the eye. Before I do that, I wanted to show you what I was going to <clears throat> do to enhance down here where they say not to put um, the dark liner. So I've been doing the white over top of the dark. So I still get that dark look, but yet it does create a little bit more opening in my eye. All right, be right back. I'm going to curl my lashes. Okay, curled them up just a little bit. Uh, before I go in and put on the only one I use, I'm so sorry that I don't share the other ones as much. If anybody wants to see any of the mascaras, let me know. This is not in the mascara line, but it is a mascara. Um, it's got tubing technology, it's got primer, it's got uh, serum in it, and I'm in love with this, and I will not use anything else unless someone wants to see a demo. Okay, so before I put on that, I would like to remember how I said I wasn't real keen on the lid, and then I want to go up here and lift the brow, and then I need to really uh, blend up up in this area here. So, <clears throat> on my lid, I'm going to blend the lighter color and the sparkly color together. Ooh. Okay. Do you see how that kind of pops the lid a little bit? All right, and then um, taking the lightest color, okay, because you could see those pink hues again. Just a little bit up there to lift it. Do that part with my finger, kind of blend away. I'm gonna take my makeup brush and just kind of blend in this area here, okay. Now in the corner, I always pop a little bit of um, just a sparkly color in the corner. You can pop a white in the corner. Uh, whatever, whatever your choice, you cannot do the corner. I love the little sparkly corner. I don't know, it kind of just, just kind of pops the eye a little bit. Here nor there, do it. You don't have to do it, play with it. All right, now we're going to go ahead with the um lashes and then i'm going to pop off of here and hopefully you'll have this video to refer back to i have a i almost i'm about out i need a new one um it how often are you supposed to replace oh i gotta twist it and not pump it I, I gotta think back how often we are supposed to replace our mascara, but that's not the issue here. The issue is the fact that mine is almost empty. I can tell because I know what it was like when I first opened the bottle. I wanna say three months ago, maybe? Okay. Put it in, twist it. This is the best mascara you will ever use and you will never go back. I can almost personally 100% guarantee that. Now, you can't win them all, right? Not everybody's going to like what, what I'm talking about or what I'm using, but I guarantee you the majority will. And you have nothing to lose. If you have not tried the Quadra, I double dare you to try it, and you can try it for up to 30 days. Now, you have to give it a while to see the lash growth, but you can try it up to 30 days and still return it, um, either for your money back or the easiest way is they put the money, if you don't love it, they'll put it into your account and let you pick out something else. And then, you know, you could pick out some eyeshadow or a different mascara and even if you order a different mascara and you don't like that one um 
they'll still honor that love it guarantee. This is the most amazing company. I could tell you stories. Um, I lost my Y point, my Y cash. Um, not that this will happen every time, but it was the first time I lost it. I was busy. I was posting for you guys. And I earn Y cash on my orders, just like you. And if you don't know what Y cash is, ask here. Um, and so I had to use it by the end of October. I forgot on Halloween night. So I messaged them the next day. I told them what happened and they gave me my money back. That never happens. I mean, it's just, it's a gift they give you that expires. It's a coupon that expires basically in um, like a month to two months. It's it's the following month after you purchase, you have to use it. So if you order at the beginning of the month, you got till the end of the following month. Um, but I was just... I was just, it was so heartfelt to work with a company that takes such good care of its customers. Um, I, I don't know. That is very, very important to me as a customer that if I don't like something, it's easy to return. Um, and if I love something, I share it, but the company has been so, so good to me. Well, ladies, this is the eye look for today. Um, I'm going to pop on off of here, finish my hair. I got to go teach yoga. Maybe I won't even finish my hair. Maybe I'll fly it in a pigtail. Um, if you have any questions, please ask below. I am going to post this video on my YouTube channel as well. If you want information to the YouTube channel, you can look at when I create just a video and not a live, then I can post it over on my YouTube channel and you can go back to it and watch it later. So let me know if the video was helpful and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye for now.